Welcome to our tip number 44 and we're going to be covering the GG Alt package today and specifically a special type of plot called a dumbbell plot. So what you see here on the right hand side is a dumbbell plot which is really useful for showcasing change. So for example here what we have is a bunch of different types of vehicles and we're showcasing the change in fuel economy between 1999 and 2008 where the first dot is the beginning of the time and then the darker blue dot is the end of time. So you're showcasing uh, an improvement in fuel economy, which is miles per gallon. Um, and you can see most vehicles are increasing. Some of them though are decreasing, like the new Beetle, for example, has much lower fuel economy than in previous years. So this will be a cool plot that we're gonna build today. I'm gonna show you how. Um, to get started though, uh, what you need to do is you need to sign up for the RTIPS weekly newsletter. This gets you access to all of the code. So we are in lab for, or RTIP 44, and you can see here we're down here. So what you're going to do is you're going to set it up. You're going to do a git pool, and what that'll do is allow you to gain access to all of the code that we're going to go through. We're on tip number 44. Open that up and open up the .r file. Okay. So once you have that, then what we're going to do is go down through the code. So the first thing, I'm going to load some libraries. And what this is doing is loading the Tidyverse, TidyQuant, and ggalt packages. And the next set, thing I'm going to do is load in the data that I'm going to be going through. So this is the MPG data set. It's a very familiar data set if you've been following along with our RTIP series. Uh, it contains the manufacturer model and the fuel economy, both highway and city fuel mileage in miles per gallon and it has a lot of different features about these vehicles so for example there's displacement which is the size of the engine uh, 1.8 would be 1.8 liter displacement so the cubic volume uh, the year that the automobile is manufactured the number of cylinders we'll specifically be focusing on the highway fuel economy the class and the manufacturer and model today and along with um, the year, uh, which is going to be the change, the item that, that changes. Okay, so to get started, we have to do some data wrangling. If you don't know how to do data wrangling, uh, you're not alone. It's one of the first foundational steps you need to learn when you're becoming a data scientist or a data analyst using R. I teach data wrangling with the plier in my R for Business Analysis 101-R course. So if you're interested in learning how to do this in, de in depth, then I strongly recommend that course. First thing we're going to do, we're going to select a couple of columns that we're interested in highway year model and class then we're going to do some pivoting wider and what we're doing here is calculating the average fuel economy by year and what we're doing is we're uh, basically pivoting that data next what we're going to do is we're going to take that model column and we're going to organize it using a factor reorder we're going to reorder the model in terms of the year 2008 which is going to be the ordering for our plot and then the last thing we're going to do is drop in a. So when we do that, our final data set looks like this, where it's 36 by 4. So it's removed a few rows where there were some missing values. And we have everything ready for visualization. All right, so now we're ready to start our visualization process. If you've never done visualization before, uh, we use the ggplot2 package in R, and this is perfect for building reports and, and professional visualizations. If you need to learn ggplot2 in detail, I teach it in my R for Business Analysis course, DS4B101-R. So first we're gonna start with a basic dumbbell. We're gonna take our MPG by year data set. We're going to set up what I call the canvas which just puts the year 1999 down here and the model up here. And then um, we've added actually the X end in here, which is going to be the end data point. So when we go to do our geom dumbbell, which is what we're going to do here, um, we're going to see a start and a finish. So it starts at the X, uh, at X is the year 1999. The X though is 2008. And you can see that I've added some different colors here. So we've got a color X end, which is going to be a little bit darker shade of blue. And then the lighter blue is the base color. Um, we give some sizes and a dot guide, which is these little dashes here. Um, and then the dot guide color uh, is gray 60. So that is our first plot. So this is just the basic dumbbell plot. And we're going to save that as something called G1. And then we're going to, going to continue to customize it. Next, we're going to customize the theme with TidyQuant, uh, which is my R package for financial analysis. So I'm going to add some labels and a theme TQ, uh, which 
makes it changes it to look something like this and then i'm going to adjust further adjust the theme the panel grid minor uh, major the major x and y axis ticks and so on and i'm going to save that as g2 and what that does is it saves it and looks like this it gets rid of some of the additional lines so you can clearly focus on specifically what's going on in this changing visualization and there we have it our visualization is done if you're interested in learning more uh, my R for Business Analysis course is my 101. It's basically if you're looking to start in data science and data analysis with R, uh, you should definitely take this course. We teach, uh, I teach the learning with visualization, ggplot2 in week four. You get four hours just on ggplot2. Plus you get data wrangling, modeling, and reporting. Um, and if you're looking at going even further, I have a five course R track, and this is from go, for going from beginner to expert within six months. You learn shiny, you learn machine learning, you learn time series analysis and forecasting, and you really become an expert and very useful to many organizations. Anyone that has that deals with data, which is pretty much every organization out there, uh, you're going to be super valuable to them. So check out the five course R track if you're interested in becoming an expert within the next six months.